Well, I've always been passionate about acting. You know, I just love creating and just, it's the magic of film and the matter that you can change someone's life just by watching a film. It's an absolute beautiful moment. And it's, I've always believed to go for your dreams and do what you believe in for your achieve the most. I think it started when I first did my uh, school play production of playing the giant spider and Jack in the Beanstalk. And I knew then it was something that I definitely was passionate about and I fell in love with and I've been striving to be an actress ever since. I love all short films, feature films, television series, anything really, you know, it's, it's all a matter about creating something beautiful. I don't really have a particular favourite, you know, it's, it's just a matter of bringing out good work, of working with most brilliant people in the industry. You meet so many wonderful people who are so talented and creative. It's quite inspiring who you meet in this industry and it's a matter of us all joining up together and creating this magic on screen. Ah yes, well I was actually giving advice on the period accuracy of the film and obviously with women it's more harder to find costumes than it is for men. Um, so I was giving more advice on what to wear for the period between the 1890s going all the way up to 1925 to gain the accuracy for the female. So I was more advising on costume and what was appropriate for that timeline. I was saying it was absolutely amazing experience, wonderful film. I can't wait for it to hit the screens, it is going to be amazing. It was so intensely emotional, you know, the whole journey of us all together and just bringing this man's story to life because no one really knows about Sandow, we all hear about him now and then, but no one actually really knows what happened, you know, his love life, the actual story about him and God, the man was just a genius, an absolute genius and to play his wife, you know, it's, it was an absolute, um, well, an honour for me to represent Blanche Brooks because not a lot is said about her and to represent that side of her, you know, her story. I could feel everything that she was feeling and to really be in that role, it, it was amazing. And, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. Fantastic cast and crew, absolutely. And yeah, it, I can't wait for it to come out. It's brilliant. We had such a fantastic time filming up in Yorkshire with it, you know, all of us living together the memorable moment, you know, of going on the horse. And I think the most, the best part of it was the Victorian corsets actually, because I went full into wearing the really tight Victorian corsets and feeling what the Victorian women were feeling within that time. And I don't think people realize how hard women actually had it. You know, all the organs were crashed in together and being in that posture, you actually felt what it was like to be within that period. And, you know, the amount of respect that I had for women on top of that, and it was way before the suffragette movement, and they couldn't talk for themselves, they weren't allowed to speak up, you didn't have women's rights, you know, they went through a lot. And, you know, to really em empathise within that time period, you know, it, it was it was an absolute immense, you know, I think that's a great thing about method acting, is to really put yourself into that role and to feel it and be exactly how it was. Yes, it's still filming, uh, we're nearly finished with that, and now it's going into post-production and all success all the way. Ah uh, yes, I am playing Ruby and she's a right rough gangster girl, you know, loud mouth, gangster uh, with the lead guy, his sort of like a leading lady side girl, you know, that does all his well, rough stuff for him, you know, goes out there with a gun. It was a real versatile character to play, to go from well, being a well-spoken girl to this all rough and ready and getting out there. It was fantastic, you know, and just bringing the life on the streets you know, into, into reality, which a lot of people can, can really relate to as well. Ah yes, well, 21 Days to Die. It is, well, if you love horror, this is definitely for you. It's not one of those horrors that you're always going to expect the same moment to happen. I mean, the guy that has created this, Philip Woodward, is an absolute genius. Uh, what I can tell you is it's about 21 girls, all of them are connected, and to do with the serial killer strangulation, and how their stories all connected together and it's quite a thriller. You know, there'll be some twists, it's very, very intense. And all I say is watch out for Philip Woodward in the industry because he's gonna be an upcomer in this horror. Well, I love playing the psychological villain roles. They're very, um, very intelligent to play. 
you know, again, behind all the, the different psychological factors, bring out the different multiple personality disorders. I love playing roles that have a challenge. You know, challenge me with this and I'll bring it to the table. So I, that is one of my, my favourites, is to play the villain, because they're so interesting to play. I will always love period type of roles, you know, bring history to life. Um, what I haven't done is I haven't played the heroine yet. And I think that'll be the next venture. Well, I won't say no to a superhero type of uh, kind of thing going on. Everyone loves a bit of Marvel and, you know, the Batman series, which I'm a big fan of anyway. Um, but I think actually someone who is normal and then gets thrown into a situation and then brings out this, this hero type quality, you know, everyone loves that type of story. And to go journey with that would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, who inspires me is Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy, he is an absolutely wonderful actor. Obviously all the girls are about his intense eyes, but it's actually the man behind that. You know, the way that he delivers every role surprises me every time. He is a big inspiration to me in this industry, and I look up to him a lot. You know, every single role that he's done, I've taken on board and, you know, inspired me to do better. And I've learned a lot from his performances as well. Oh, he is a legend in Peaky Blinders. How he plays Thomas Shelby is, is just pure genius. I would like to produce and to create my own films and to write films, as I would love to bring my version of creativity to the industry, as I do have some good ideas. I would more like to go into producing films and to see other people's inspirations and to bring that, as there's so many wonderful people. and. The ideas, you know, speaking to people in this industry, they are, they are just such an amazing people and to give people the chance to bring this out in, into the film industry would be wonderful. You know, to work with, you know, young people with ideas you know, and see what, what they can bring. Because we, we need that in this industry, you know, just a fresh new energy. Oh, some of my favourite films. I'm a big Avatar fan. I would say that. Uh, I will always be a Jane Austen lover. I love those films. Peaky Blinders, obviously. Play plays out like play plays out like films, but you know, Jane Austen period films, I've always had a passion for. The most last one I've seen was Belle, and that was a beautiful film, absolutely beautiful. Peaky Blinders, that's TV series, obviously. Um, I have so many films that I love. It's really hard to individually point out one. The Freddy Krueger dream sequence number three. That was the earliest one I remember. I was blown away by that. Dream Warrior, that was it, Dream Warrior. We do. We all do, we all seem to, um, but I was amazed by that, that, well then, the film industry, you know, the special effects aren't like what they were now. It was a classic horror movie that you will always be part of the legends. I'm only allowed to talk about 21 Days to Die. I have a few other projects that are coming out, a few feature films. Um, not allowed to say yet, but all I can say is watch this space. Uh, you can go to IMDB. I have a professional Facebook page, so you can go through that. I have a new website that's coming out, which you'll be able to find me on as well. What I would say is follow your heart and follow your dreams. Do what you're most passionate about. Don't be scared of other expectations. Just go for it, go full steam ahead. Be the fullest that you can be. And just believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, then every door of opportunity will open up for you. And the confidence will just be, you've all got it in you. You just have to just let it out. And trust me, there are so many wonderful people out there who are just looking forward to seeing the work that you can produce. <laughs>